All right, look guys, we have a situation. I look like shit. All right, I'm pasty, my hair is raggedy, dry, dead, damaged, short, okay? My nails are grown out, I need a glow up. So, I will give myself that. I will treat myself to a glow up. So, I am getting hand-tied 18-inch aqua hair extensions in a week from now, a week from this day exactly. Um, they're the like sew-in ones, so not the tape-ins. Um, this is my first time ever getting extensions, so I'm really excited. I've had the clip-in ones off of Amazon that are like $11, but these are the real deal, honey. They're expensive. I'm luckily getting 50% off the installation though, so I had to pay a bunch for the hair. I got two packs of hair, ones that one that is lighter that she's toning to match my ends, and then one that is darker to match my root color, since a lot of this used to be blonde and then got dyed brown, and there's a different color here versus here. So we're going to do both colors, um, and... Yeah, I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to have like 18 inch luscious locks. So stay tuned. Also, I have a wedding in two weeks where I will be a bridesmaid. So this is kind of all for that. And also an excuse to get hair extensions and spend that much money. So you're gonna see from start to finish now, my short hair, short damaged hair. until then so enjoy this video and yeah i'll give you guys information about the extensions and that experience and kind of show you what's happening when that time comes stay tuned guys it's the morning of i've been up since 6 30 because my body woke me up early because i'm used to waking up early i self tanned with the saint tropez like two days ago I'm just wearing like a little jumpsuit today and it's nine o'clock and I'm getting my nails done in an hour I still don't know exactly what I want to do but I'm cooking breakfast look how cute these eggs are my sister's friend's family has chickens and they gave us these eggs and look how one is like speckled I don't know I think it's so cool my delicious egg sandwich with mayo Swiss cheese and ketchup and I'm gonna watch some Kitchen Nightmares until 10. I'm here at the nail salon. Here is my before. Just kind of going through Pinterest right now and saved nail uh, photos to try to figure out what to get done. I could go really simple. Ooh, someone's yelling. And get like just like a pink. The yelling. I could go simple and get like a pink one like that or I'm thinking something like this would be kind of cute because it would still fit the theme of the wedding colors are like uh, they're like pink and um, green so these still kind of fit the outdoor like color scheme so I think I might do something like that I also like these We'll see. We'll see. Guys, how cool did they freaking turn out? Look at the color. They're so cool. I love them. She airbrushed them. They were only $45. Are you joking? Now I go home. It's so hot out right now. It's so hot in my car. Um, I have the windows up because I don't want noise when I'm filming. But I'm going to go home, um, chill for a while, and then... Maybe paint my toenails and then we're gonna go for the extensions, the main event of today. I'm so excited. Stay tuned. It is finally time to go get my extensions. It's currently 2.45. My appointment's at 3.30. I'm assuming she's gonna wash my hair. We're not coloring it or anything, but my hair needs to be washed, so I hope that's part of it. And to trim the ends and stuff. I mean, I'll find out once I'm there and I'll ask her, but yeah, I'm gonna be recording some of the process um, while I'm there. She agreed to it, so looking forward to that. See you guys when we're there.
Good. Yes. All right, now your question. This nice. is your hair. Do you want one more piece? Do you want those flies too? Uh, let's see. These are decisions. And I'll, I'll put it to you this way too. We put it in, you feel like it's too much hair, you come in, it takes me five minutes to take it out. Because we have one, we have one thing, two left, which would be the same thing as how you just put it there. Honestly, put it down here. Yep. But again, it's your hair. It's you not so I'm heavy. Gonna, I'm gonna put it to you. Yeah. So you want to put it? Okay. Let's do it. Again, you wash your hair. You're like, hey, it's too much freaking hair. Let's do I, it. You come and I take it out. Honestly, you just want to go for it. Go big or go home. Right. Do it. Go for it. You know, I think I don't think it can hurt. If it, if, like I said, it, like you said, if it does get, if I realize later on, I'm like, okay, this is a lot, I'll get it done. Point, but it's, it's lightweight. This yeah. hair's not heavy. No. Like, alone, just when I put my clip-ins in, they're heavier than this. Oh, yeah. Just for that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, no, yeah, I can handle another row. Good. I'm gonna pull that out a little bit and I'll take some pictures right here. Okay. Do what you gotta do on those eyes. Get my baby hairs. Do like a little shake fluff out. Finished product. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Guys, I just got out. I don't know how I feel. It's, I'm not used to this, okay? I didn't get a good view when she filmed of the length. <laughs> It's so long. I'm 5'2", okay? It's definitely longer than I thought when she she added So she did four wefts in the middle two on top and then two on the bottom because and I had two full packs of hair of Aqua hair extensions 18 inch after she added the second pack I was like mm, this might be good, but like screw it. Just add the other two at the bottom um, and she was like, yeah, let's just do it all and stuff and if if you don't like it we can you can come back and i'll literally take it out any day like it's not a big deal i was like okay so let's just try it and we'll take it out then in that case i'd rather like be it's easier to undo it than to like have schedule for her to put them back this is how long they are so long i'm just not used to it because i've never had this much or this long hair i mean i think it looks pretty i just i need to get used to it like i don't love them yet because I'm so like taken aback <laughs> by the length and everything oh my gosh and I, I can't tell if they blend super well because I can't see the back of my head so oh my gosh there's people next to me I hope they blend well I don't know if they do I'm gonna watch this video back to see I might need it a little less next time I go in like a little shorter Maybe, and maybe a pack out. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. It's overwhelming right now, but I'll let you know. It feels, I really feel it right here. Like trying to put the hair behind my ears. It feels quite thick where those wefts are tied in. Also, she gave me these. She said it was included in the price of extensions, which is nice because I've never, like, I would never buy, I never buy salon products, so it's nice that she, like, gave me them, that they were included. So that's exciting, conditioner and a shampoo. All right, guys, here's the deal. It is two days later. Um, I don't love the length of these, honestly they're like a little too long for me and the separation of where my hair ends versus where this ends it feels like it's too long of a distance to look natural so um i want to have her this is the bottom weft okay she installed or the bottom row she installed three rows one in the middle one at the top and one at the bottom um the bottom row she kind of said like okay let's just go all or nothing and 
um, if you don't like it we can take it out you can literally hit me up any day and we'll just take it out and we can also trim it if it's too long so I I braided up the bottom row to show you how it would look without that row it would be a lot lighter it's very heavy and it's a lot of hair with that bottom row so I feel like taking out the bottom row here so let me throw that in the back taking that out and then cutting like an inch off of here would and doing some blending would really like make it look a lot more natural and a lot better on me because I think this length is a little much for me so my original plan was I only wanted it to like here anyway so okay, I'm gonna have her do that I, t I already messaged her and I'm just waiting for a response obviously it doesn't look blended right now because it's just down and these curls fell but I already um reached out to her and uh asked her if we would be able to do that before the wedding on tuesday and today's friday and they're they're not open monday or tuesday so hopefully she <laughs> answers me and we can do this i'll show you it with these taken out of course like i said they're not styled and yeah it probably looks a lot fuller maybe nicer like this but again it still needs length off even if i kept the bottom row for thickness i would still want like that much cut off about that's probably about an inch right and then it would fall like right there so we'll see i don't know yet if i'm gonna keep the bottom row but have her cut in just cut an inch and if that'll kind of do what i'm looking for if i'd rather have her just remove the bottom row and cut it i think remove the bottom row and cut it because it is very heavy and it's a lot of hair and having three rows is a lot <laughs> it's like everywhere and when i try to put my hair up she kind of put it low so that when i try to put it up like you can kind of see the weft maybe it's just because this one is loose i don't know if you can see but there's like a loose edge here so when i try to put it up you can see it which i do not like so we'll see i'm still kind of thinking about it and thinking about what i want her to do but i really i think i want her to remove it and trim it i think i'll like it a lot more quick little update guys i got my hair trimmed and i got her to fix a little edge that was popping out she added another bead to really hold it down so that you can't see it when i put my hair up um she probably cut off about two inches and now i literally love them i feel like a lot of you are going to um like the before better before i got it cut because you know a lot of people love the really really long hair um but honestly it was just too much for me it was so much to like hold and put up to even put in a bun even just like down it just was heavy and like really not that comfortable and i also just wasn't comfortable with how long it was in general because my hair has never been that long it's never even been this long so it was just too big of a change for me but now I love it. Those two inches off made it more lightweight, way more comfortable, and in my opinion, it just looks a lot better now. It also blends a lot better now. I braided it last night, so you can kind of see that, but I just think it blends so much more. I'll show you it from the back and stuff, um, but I figured I'd just show you guys and update you guys before I go and shower. I'm gonna go try washing and styling it for the first time. It's been like three days since I got it done, um, and I really need to start training my hair to get used to not washing it as often, but like, ugh, I need to wash it today. It just feels so dirty. I put a bunch of dry shampoo in yesterday. But yeah, here's it from the side. That's how far down it goes. And from the back. I love it now so much. So you guys saw the before in the clip I recorded at first and now here's the after. It's not quite the full summer 2021 glow up yet because my tan has worn off. I have no makeup. But um, I'm just going to pop in after I style it and put on some makeup just to show you um, how it looks all put together. Also it's worth noting we did not remove that last row, the third row. Um, it would have been not thick enough and not full enough, so kept that in. Good decision. The chop was all I needed. All right, guys, let's close this video out once and for all. Here is my finished product. I just 
washed and curled my hair using the shampoo that and conditioner that you guys saw before. Here is the final hair, cut, curled, styled, and complete. I used one of those, um, the Revlon like brush uh, dryer things to blow out my hair. The whole process of washing, blowing out, and styling my hair took two hours, which is insane. Doing my hair has never taken me that long, but I'm very happy with the result. I think it looks beautiful. I'm so happy with the length after having her cut the two inches off and just really pleased with the overall blend, color, and product now. Um, so I'm gonna get into the specifics of my extensions, how much they cost. I'm gonna be transparent, honestly, and um, why I did it. My goal was thickness and length. I wanted them just to make myself feel good. Maybe it wasn't the smartest thing to get them right before summer starting, but um, literally in, I think it's been like three days since I got them. I got them Wednesday, today, Saturday. Um, and they already, I'm used to them. The three rows in the back, the eight wefts total, I am 100% used to them. I thought the third row was gonna be too much. It was very uncomfortable at first for like the first two-ish days extremely uncomfortable i wanted i wished i hadn't gotten them but now that um some weight has been lifted off and i'm getting used to them they are very comfortable and very much worth it i'm sure you guys know a lot of the pros and cons that can come with them i mean pros the look cons the price discomfort at times itchiness um but washing them really relieved that itchiness and getting between each row um, it took longer, but was worth it. Well worth it. My hair feels fresh. It doesn't feel too heavy. It feels healthy right now and is not itchy. Most importantly, what you guys are probably wondering is the cost. So I decided to get these extensions because there was a deal at a salon near me. It's called Beauty Bar by Louisa in Bud Lake, New Jersey. Um, I've never been there before, but I saw online i was looking up extensions and cheap extensions near me and i happened to come across this page and saw that they were running a deal through may 31st for half price installation so i ended up getting with the half off the installation total was 163 and that was because the installation was typically 250 for the first row plus 75 for each additional row. However, with the half off, it was 125 for the first row plus 30, um, 30 and change for the second row, each additional row. I ended up getting only charged for two rows, even though we put two up here and two on the bottom. She just counted that as two rows, even though it's like kind of three. Um, which was very nice of her on top of the fair pricing. It's anywhere anywhere else around the area I live in is minimum a thousand dollars for the hair plus the installation. And a lot of places near me also upcharge on the hair. So they will try to make a profit off of you buying the hair and them ordering it for you. They did not upcharge on the hair here. It was I, I just paid specifically for the hair. Um, I put down a deposit, paid for the hair, she ordered it. Um, the shampoo and conditioner came with the hair. These are aqua hair extensions again, they were 18 inches. And um, my hair total came to $414 because um, I got two full packs of extensions. And we got one pack that was darker, as you can see in here, that matches my root color, and one pack that is lighter um that matches the end pack and what she did is she did both the dark and lighter pack oh she glazed them also to match my ends and um she took the dark and light and put them both in the middle row on the top row i think she did one of each and on the bottom or no she might have done the light on the top and then on the bottom she did the light on the top and the dark on the bottom since that's how my hair is like underneath is the dark um you know grown out root stuff and I think she did a great job. She was very easy to work with when I needed to go back to get um, the bead, an extra bead added here and get a trim. She did not charge me for that, which uh, fair enough, I don't think she she should or anyone should in general because um, when you leave it as like a, 
oh well you know if you're not comfortable with this come back and we'll fix it type of thing then you know you shouldn't charge them anyway so i thought that was fair and i'm happy that she um did that the right way overall i think she made the process very affordable um of course not everyone has what was that like 414 plus 160 plus tip and everything not everyone has like 600 700 dollars to go spend on their hair but um i've been working and got out of school and been working and stuff and for me it's something i've really wanted to do i get bored with my hair easily and i you know was every color under the sun if you've been following my channel and going back to brown was very boring for me and i needed a change so here we are so yeah guys if you want any update updates on the extensions on the process of caring for them on any of the like move up or any information on that I believe it's like gonna be a hundred dollars each time I go to get a moved up which again I think is a really good deal because salons around me mm -mm, you're not getting it that price so overall I feel like I got a great deal and she delivered and I am very happy and so this is the message you guys if you want extensions you're willing to front that money um, go for it it's not cheap but if you get someone who will do it right, I think it is worth it. And I think you should always look for deals. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope it was fun to watch. Probably not that informative, but more just fun to watch. I like watching these and seeing people's transformations. So subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned. I make a lot of like food videos. Those are my favorite to make. I make hair videos. Request anything down below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.